brain is an organ of the mind. The brain is not a homogeneous unity, but an aggregate of mental organs with specific functions. Cerebral organs are topographically organized. Other things being equal, the relative size of any particular mental organ is indicative of the power or strength of that organ. by the time you leave our assessment today, you feel even just the smallest modicum of better. Now, I hope you'll forgive the venue. My colleagues do not seem to believe in the wonderful science. And thus, they have stuck me in the equivalent of a broom closet. But I don't need much room to make the incredible happen. Now, let me see here. What is it that was your name again? discovery of quite a large deposit of graphite, and those primitive peoples used it to write whatever it is they wrote. And now, with our incredibly modern technology, we have these very useful, slim little writing tools. I do much prefer these over our quill pens and those steel pens, much too pricey, fountain pens, much too inconvenient. But the graphite, graphite is somewhat of a pleasure to work with. I apologize, I do get carried away. Phrenology, let me show you a little something. This may help you in visualizing what I am talking about. Now, this is a map of the skull. More specifically, the organs of the skull. Now, phrenology was started to develop in 1796, I believe, quite a bit of time ago, 
by Dr. Gall, but he called what would be known as phrenology a cranioscopy. And it was his student, Dr. Spurzheim, that coined phrenology. And I am a student of the Fowler's version of phrenology. A little less stuffy, a little more practical for our needs. Now, built upon the tenets of Dr. Gall, we have many different organs on the skull. We have the propensities, we have the sentiments, we have the organs that we share with animals as well, what basic organisms share with us humans. Now, all these little areas tell me what your inclination towards a certain personality trait, for example, is like. Now here, right under the eye, we have the organ of language. And here, just above the forehead, right under the hairline, this is intuition. Now, we come into the very top of the head. We have respect, worship, antiquity, veneration, hope, justice, integrity. Even on the back of the head here, we have organs such as Friendship, sociability, love of family, love of home, love of children, animals. All these I can determine your inclinations toward just by feeling with my fingers, with my palms. Now, the reason that I can feel your inclinations towards certain attributes is because as we grow, our brains are covered by our skull, correct? But as infants, it's more soft, more malleable, and our skull hardens around those organs. And that is the reason I can feel them. Because your skull hardens around those ridges and contours. Now, I can tell you what your predispositions are with certain traits. We determine this with either an underdeveloped organ an overdeveloped organ or a normal organ and you can take the list that we give you and you can further develop these organs should you feel that you wish to cultivate a healthier inclination towards one. Now, I will be using a set of extraordinarily scientific tools. I have a tape here that we use to measure the skull and I have a set of calipers here. These are invaluable to the trade. 
these here. Now, some phrenologists may also employ the use of a craniometer. I feel that I can get the job done using these calipers and I can be just as accurate as one with a craniometer. The only thing that I need you to do is to just sit quietly, relax, and please hold very still. I won't be able to get an accurate reading should you shift or move. These organs are all quite close together, you see. So if I shift even just a little bit, I might end up mistaking your organ for planning with your organ for reasoning, your organ for youthfulness with your organ for blandness. So I need you to be very quiet and very still. Is that agreeable to you? Excellent. Now, for this part, I do prefer to wear my shawl. Hope you don't mind. There we are. Just a woman's inclination. And we will start with our measurements. I have a sheet here that I can record all of the very many organs and measurements on. So from time to time, I may be recording your findings on that sheet. I am going to get a bit closer. I hope you don't mind. There. How is that? Better? Just a bit more. Good. Good. Tapes can be quite finicky, I find. It is unfortunate that one cannot find something that rolls the tape automatically so that one does not have to one does not have to do that manually. I do wonder if one of those sort of inventions will ever come about. Just give me a moment as I as I re-roll this to something a touch more manageable. Do you have any other engagements 
this evening? Hmm, I see. I do indeed love the theater. And what is showing this evening? <laughs> I do enjoy a Shakespeare as well. Do you prefer Shakespeare's comedies or his tragedies? I, for one, am of the mind to love a good tragedy, of a love lost, something that almost was but could never be. Very good. Now, I will finish rolling this tape and then I will feel along your skull, if you don't mind. Mm hmm? Yeah. It won't be painful, although I have been told I do have a firm hand. Do let me know if it is too much of a pressure. Mm-hmm. And start just by holding the skull in my hands. Hmm. I see. A little feel before I work into specific organs. Hmm. Interesting. I'll note that down. Something to note is Many of the female persuasion tend to have a bit less development in certain organs that guide art and science, and rather they tend to have a bit of overdevelopment in things like love of children, love of family, religion, that sort of, that sort of topic. Whereas those of the male persuasion tend to have a bit more, more in the art and science, of course, also in the, the intuition I see oftentimes as well. Start just here. The language right under the eye. Yours feels normal. I don't see any sign that you would be deficient or overly. 
Now, overdeveloped does not mean that you have incredible success, necessarily. Perhaps with certain organs, for example, I had mentioned integrity, and those that have overdeveloped integrity organ may have a high value of integrity themselves, however, they may also expect a very high integrity of those that he associates with. So, there can be a bit of a drawback to many, many of these organs. For example, that of the mirthfulness right here. That one, were it to be underdeveloped, it could be thought of as quite a stick in the mud without any sort of humor or ability to enjoy oneself, especially with comedy, with joking. But should you have an overdevelopment, well, I could see that perhaps one wouldn't be able to take themselves seriously, not even in the most grave of matters. They wouldn't be able to be sober for one moment. But those with a normal organ would enjoy a well-timed This is quite normal here. We have along the eye things such as color, time, tune. Most people tend to be normal in most aspects with certain organs here or there, for example. What is this right here? Give me just a moment. Right. Right here. Hmm. Right. On the organ for hope. That is a bit developed. Hmm. And what about right here? Hmm. Interesting. Cautiousness. So, right here, our organ for hope. Little overdeveloped. And cautiousness, right back here. Hmm. Oh, good. Seems that your self-esteem organ is normal. Those that are deficient often are incredibly insecure and can be thought to be quite exasperating in that. While those that have an overdeveloped organ often think themselves quite highly important and may suffer more delusions of grandeur, maybe a bit of a megalomaniac. Well,
Do you suffer with nervousness? Mm -hmm. A bit. May explain the overdevelopment of your cautiousness organ, right? Right there. Now, if I were to employ our calipers, now this, I believe, would be about what our normal organ would be sized by you. Just a bit more. A bit more. A bit more. Hmm. I would say at least one and a half times what the normal organ would be. Now as for your inclination towards hope, I believe that is often about this size, whereas you... Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, good. A little, a little bit overdeveloped, but nothing extraordinary. Do you tend to be quite an optimist? Hmm. Even against all evidence? I see. Yes. And called a fool once or twice for... for your optimism, for your sense of hope. Feel that of all the organs to be overdeveloped, that those are not... they're not the most unpleasant that they could be. Now let's feel... right along here. There. Right there. Not as overdeveloped as your organ of cautiousness, nor of hope. The organ of friendship may have held a bit of worry in that if one were to befriend absolutely everyone, they may get themselves into a spot of trouble, especially combined with Especially should we have an overdevelopment of trust here. Now you, we feel right, right here. No. That, that particular organ is normal.
should you have had an overdeveloped organ of trust in addition to friendship, then I would caution you greatly as to really analyze the company you keep. May end up more unpleasant for you and you could be taken advantage of quite easily. So I would just suggest to keep that in mind when you make a new acquaintance and with the acquaintances that you do keep. We move from friendship, your sociability, Children, family, animals. Back here. Good, good, good. Hmm. Right there. this, that would be our organ for independence. Those with a deficiency are codependent on others, cannot do anything for themselves, and most likely will stay with their kin for the rest of their life, but if they should have the fortune to marry, they would be pasted to their spouse, I would think. And those with an overdeveloped independence organ, they would not be able to rely on anyone and would rebuff any advances. Now, I find that interesting with your overdevelopment just the bit of the friendship organ but then with the independence it is interesting I would caution you to consider that when another offers help, that you do think about taking it. It's a lonely existence without the people around us, and even though I can see you keep quite a bit of company, to not be able to rely on anybody at all. And it's just a morose thing, especially when one has so many friends. So, do consider that in the future. Mm-hmm. But, and what about right here? Right here. Right here. Let me see. You see, right here, should be about there. Hmm, interesting. Now your organ for hoarding is underdeveloped. Now, for one that it is overdeveloped, we may see that they collect even rubbish 
and hold on to it. They can never get rid of anything and their houses may be full of absolutely useless items that they just accumulate. But with one with an underdeveloped organ, you may not have any sentimental ties or any wish to keep anything at all. wouldn't surprise me if you didn't have an item, if it didn't serve multiple purposes, if it only served one, then why keep it, right? <laughs> Indeed. Well, that's interesting. Let me just, let me just measure that. Hmm. It's not often that I see someone with such an inclination. something. Now, almost I could describe your sense of horror would be another, another word for it, your sense of the macabre. But yours is normal. think that one with an overdeveloped sense of the terrific would seek out such horrors, the lowest of crimes, the most awful of deeds. And those with an underdevelopment wouldn't pay them absolutely any mind. It's healthy to have a balance, of course, perhaps not to have a morbid curiosity into the thing, but to acknowledge and and to consider that when going about your your day. bit of an easier area as the boundaries for our parameters are much larger. believe so. I apologize. That is why I use
more scientific tools in addition to my hands, my palms. Occasionally. So before I diagnose something that isn't there, I do like to check. Is it what I felt right here? Hmm, indeed. That is good. That is good. I believe we are almost finished. Then you can trot off to the theater. Are you attending with family? Hmm. area is lacking in more original scores, but there are a couple. I do admit I haven't seen many either, but those more dedicated to the theater than I am have expressed great joy at Should you, should you see any of that come around, I would recommend that you attend it. I hear it is something quite splendid. in a bit to veneration here. wanted to make sure that those two were normally developed, as opposed to overdevelopment. Now, antiquity, I felt, might be a bit underdeveloped. the storms I found here. They hoot and hoot and holler until the storm is 
has come and then they remain silent until of course the storm has passed and then they hoot and hoot and holler once more Developed organs of worship tend to um, tend to be on the more fanatical side. Those that are overly pious, unfortunately, there is such a thing. But but I believe that otherwise, so for a few overdeveloped areas and a couple of underdeveloped. I do not find that you have any areas that are quite grotesque. We did discuss that perhaps your choice of friends and acquaintances may garner a better look and that you should take care to not disregard any help with your Overdeveloped independence organ. Now, just sit back here. There. Now, it is indeed warm. It has cooled off quite a bit since the since the rain has started. give you the sheet. So in exchange for the sheet, I ask for a scent. I know it is a little, a little expensive, but we did an extraordinarily detailed look into your inclinations, your sentiments, propensities, and I think you'll find that and this will be very helpful for you. Mm hmm Very good. Now, you wouldn't mind? There. I appreciate it. Thank you. And this is for you. Very good. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? appreciate you so very much for coming into my my broom closet of a work area and letting me feel along your head, along the ridges and contours of your skull and determining your inclinations towards certain personality traits and habits. Thank you so very much for coming here. I hope that you have an extraordinary day and a pleasant rest of your night. Thank you.